Lots of actors hate self-promotion, and that's because they're doing it wrong. <laughs> Raise your hand if you low-key can't stand promoting yourself as an actor. I get it. But here's the good news. I find that actors only hate self-promotion when they're thinking about it the wrong way. They think self-promotion means that every time something good happens, they have to tell everybody and their mother about it on all platforms. They have to share all the good stuff to keep generating momentum, and that's pretty much it. Nah. We need a mindset shift here. So, here it is. Your job is not really to self-promote per se. Your job is to be of service. Your job is to make sure that all your potential collaborators know you exist and understand what kinds of roles you can fill in their projects. So, your job is really just to continue to build relationships and be of service and show up as your authentic self. And one of my favorite ways to do this, one of the things that my clients add to their marketing plans is taking the time out to acknowledge the accomplishments of others. And that way, it's not all about you all the time. If a casting director is nominated for an Ardios award, congratulate them. If someone's show gets picked up for another season, show them some love. Write a letter to your favorite director and express your appreciation for some specific aspect of their work. Rachel, who's one of my clients in the table membership, recently implemented this and landed an audition with a casting director that she hadn't been in to see for years. This stuff works. So if you want more details on how to implement this, like how to find out what's going on with your folks and what to say when you reach out, I got you. Join the waitlist for the table and I'll let you know when we open our doors.